Back again with another Torch video, a Nightcore have sent me an MH40S for review. This is one of their new ultra long range torches and there's some interesting features with this including a wireless remote. We've also got a pretty extensive bundle included with this so my unboxing and quick look initially is going to take a little bit longer than normal purely because we've just got so many items included. Quick run through on the back of the box, we can see we do have some unusual things going on here. We have a different LED. We've also got a random frequency strobe mode, which is fairly unusual for most torches. This is well packaged. It comes in quite a nice premium box with a magnetic closing. Most of the items are tucked away inside separate individual compartments inside. It does at least mean that things don't fly around inside the box. For this version I have a USA charger for the USB, that is a Quick Charge 3. Hopefully you'll get the correct one for your particular region. I've also included some mounting rails if you want to attach that. Now the general idea with this is going to be that you can attach it and use it on a weapon. Obviously I can't really do that much because I don't have anything to show you. What you get is Velcro straps and a pad. Of course the idea is going to be you're going to strap that onto the weapon and then you'll be able to control the torch just by using the remote control. It does have a two stage button with the smaller button at the top with the power indicator and the larger button. You can press that anywhere uh, along there, it doesn't make any difference at all. It does respond wherever you press it. On the back you can see there is a compartment there which you can open and you can get into the battery that is a CR1632. Evidently that lasts for about a year or thousands of clicks. As I said, I can't really show you that much because I don't have a weapon to demonstrate it with, but um, those are the items that you get included. They've also given you a standard wrist strap, a type A to type C charging cable, and this is the holster. It's a padded neoprene type one. We've seen similar ones from Nightcore and other makers before. It's quite good quality. Offers a decent bit of protection, particularly at the head end. And that brings us onto the torch where I'll show you that in a bit more detail now. All the information, weight and sizes are on the screen. Quick close up shot on the head. You can see they've got some grooves there. There's the switch. That's a rubber cover or silicone cover on that. As far as the port cover goes, it's one of the better ones that I've seen, partly because it doesn't flap around, it does stay in place quite firmly. Moving on to the LED and the reflector, I have not used this LED before. Nightcore are saying it has some obvious improvements over previous ones. Nice smooth reflector with this, so we are expecting to have quite a nice tight beam pattern with this. Got the crenulated bezel and flat edges on the handle, which should stop it rolling around. Plenty of grip there as well, so I've got no complaints in terms of design. There's a switch at the bottom, and I'll just unscrew that to show you the threads. There's your spring on the base or tail cap, and the two included batteries are 5000 milliamp hour 21700s. On the handle, they have gone for a somewhat thinner material, perhaps to keep the weight down, there's also a spare o-ring that they do supply with this. That contact point does have a spring behind it, so you can feel that moving when you put the batteries in. Onto the UI, momentary with a half press and a full press turns it on. With the side switch when it's on, short press will just cycle through the power levels. And there are four of them on this torch. To get to the strobe, when the torch is on, hold the side switch in and then that will cycle through the three patterns. Onto the remote, they say it's got about a meter range and that seems about right. Half press the top button will cycle the power levels and a full press is on or off. Obviously the torch has to be on to be able to do that. And when it's on, half press and hold the top button to get to the strobe and half press to cycle the three strobe modes. To get to the turbo or momentary, just push and hold the main button in, the larger one. You will see the LED flash under the side switch if it is in standby and connected to the remote. There's your power level check, very simple to do. You've got three stages and it also has a vibration function. 
onto the user manual so you can have a look at that with the charging test it didn't work on my tester for some reason but nightcore are quoting around about two hours and 45 minutes if you're using the quick charge adapter this doesn't seem to work with non quick charge adapters though that does seem to be uh, a limitation for some reason start off with the beam shots now we're on to the unicorn 850 lumens quite a warm tint on that torch then we'll have a quick look at the jet beam wl20 um, this torch grew on me over time really i quite like the beam pattern on this got a bit more range compared to your average torch at this power level on the mh40s even on the lowest output you can see around about 90 feet has no problem illuminating that at all take it up to the 150 lumens and it starts to spread out now we're up to 500 lumens i did notice that the tint does seem to sort of change it's more of a greeny tint at the lower output and it does seem to get a bit warmer once you get up to the 500 and 1500 lumen mark i don't think that's going to be a particular problem perhaps it's just a characteristic of this particular led what I've done with the beam shots, I've done some longer range ones because, of course, obviously you're not going to really buy a torch like this to play around with it in the garden. It's really aimed at a specific type of user, perhaps law enforcement, it could be security, search and rescue, things like that where you're going to need that tight beam and extra long range. Have a look at some of the beam shots that I've put together, then I'll give you some of my thoughts at the end of the video. Nightcore have done quite a nice job on this torch. It does have some interesting features. You do have that wireless remote control, 
the option to mount it onto a weapon if you want to. So it might be of interest if you're into things like hunting. As ever, there are always a few pros and cons with these torches. And from my perspective, the most obvious drawback is I would have liked an extra power level. I think there's a space there between the high and the turbo mode, maybe around about eight, nine hundred lumens or even a thousand lumens. So let me know what you think on this one. I'd be interested to hear some of your feedback. If this would be a model that would interest you or there's anything that you might change with the design. As usual, thank you for watching. It is very much appreciated and I'll see you in the next one.